Well, Suicide Squad's been out a few weeks now and for a brief period was even visible beneath all the rotten tomatoes and spit. It's nice when we all get together as a community to kick the shit out of something, isn't it? Always a fun day out for the kids. I think the last one was Forspoken, which now I'm thinking about it came out at more or less this exact same time. I guess this is an annual thing now. Fuck you, February. Well anyway, as with most pylons, it was slightly ruined by the people getting too into it. I saw serious posts and think pieces harumphing about how Suicide Squad disrespects the noble legacies of Batman and Superman. Their power fantasies for little boys think pieces. Super Superman was permanently disrespected long ago by his fucking tailor. No one respects superheroes anymore, and guess what, Disney and Warner Brothers? We learned it from watching you, Dad. You're the ones who've been dangling them over us like a fucking piñata for the last 30 years. You shouldn't be offended if we start giving them some extra savage hits now the candy's running dry. There's no need to invent reasons to be offended by Suicide Squad when there's such a nutritious smorgasbord of existing reasons to hate its fetid fucking guts. Suicide Squad Kill Rocksteady's marketability is an open-world shooter about four DC supervillains. Floyd, Deadshot, Lawton, Harleen, Harley, they came up with my real name five minutes before lunch break, Quinn, Quinzel. Digger, Captain, why the fuck am I even on this team when it already has a ranged weapons guy who isn't crippling the over-specialised Boomerang, Harkness, and King Shark. A King Shark who seems to be doing his best Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy impression, but don't point that out, people might think you actually give a shit. They're forcibly recruited to work for the government, and to a man, suck. They suck so hard, and everyone and everything around them is quick to remind them of that fact. They get sent into Metropolis, which has also recently begun to suck, because it's been turned into a war zone by the Justice League, who all suck now, because they're being mind controlled by the suckiest dude of them all, Brainiac. You remember from Injustice 2? And much like Injustice 2, and 60-70% to 70 of superhero media these days, we realise that Superman turning evil is just about the only way to make the big boring pyjama wearing bastard interesting. So there's a range of different mission types you can engage with across the open world. Shoot a bunch of dudes, defend a thing by shooting a bunch of dudes, defend a moving thing by shooting a bunch of dudes, or Riddler challenges. Riddler seeming about as confused as I am as to what the fuck he's doing here. The closest thing to a puzzle in this game is figuring out if a plus 10% critical rate is better than a plus 5% defence against meringue-based damage. When you feel confident, you go to the next story mission to fight the next Justice League member. Not that you should feel confident, because you suck so much, you bunch of huge sucky suck sucker root. Yes, yes, sorry to interrupt, but I genuinely can't tell. Are you continuing the broadly insincere we suck motif of the story, or are you telling me I'm still too underleveled for the next story mission? Because of course this is live service, where everything from our attack damage to our nostril hair length is numerically quantified to facilitate the never-ending stream of identical grind missions with rewards of gear with higher, more competitive scores, and I'd hate to find myself stuck in a story boss fight fruitlessly nomming at a gigantic throbbing level 22 health bar with naught but a substandard level 15 half grapefruit. Neither did I want to indulge in any more of the core gameplay that was strictly necessary because it too sucks. The missions are repetitive, the interface is splattered with too much confusing detail, and picking a character basically comes down to deciding which fiddly and unsatisfying traversal method you would least hate using to explore an over-detailed city with about as much sense of place and function as a great big bowl of lumpy porridge. In time I learned that one absolutely does not need to grind up for the campaign boss fights because the Justice League, as previously established, suck. Suicide Squad kill your darlings problem isn't that it doesn't give a shit. I'm all about irreverence. You want me to give Superman an atomic wedgie? Just show me the coat hook and the industrial welding gloves. The problem is that it actually doesn't give a shit, if you follow me. Every Justice League member fight consists of acquiring the magic fridge magnet or dealy boppers that cancels out their powers and then shooting them a lot until they die. And then they're just dead and things move on and no one seems to care. The exception is Batman. He's built up as the most serious threat simply by being too smart to face your head on. There's even an amusing sequence early on where you basically go through a Batman arc and Predator mission from the perspective of the poor buggers being hunted. I went into the final Batman confrontation wondering what clever way we were going to fight him if it can't just be shoot the man till he dies. I mean what could possibly top the Arkham City Mr. Freeze fight except perhaps Magic Shell? Turns out all he does is feed you fear gas, turn into a giant monster, and then you shoot him until he dies. And it's pathetically easy. See it's not so much the disrespect towards Batman and his very scary underpants as the disrespect shown towards the many many hours I spent keeping the bastard alive in the Arkham games, with which this game shares continuity, only for this to be his ultimate fate, beamed in the skull and swept into a waste paper basket. It's like the mere act of making a looter shooter already shat all over Rocksteady's legacy so they figured might as well finish emptying our bowels while we're at it. The whole fighting Superman aspect feels like something the game is trying to hastily rush you through so you can get back to grinding up suicide bucks. But last I checked the subtitle was Kill the Justice League, not kill five million identical generic baddies and a significant portion of your free time you'll never get back. After Superman gets unceremoniously waste paper basketed, the plot moves on to fighting Brainiac and goes, by the way you have to kill him 13 times before he's dead for real and grind up a minimum amount of fun bucks for each attempt. So I was like, oh Christ, we're Middle Earth shadow of warring it and hiding the plot ending behind a live service grind. But then the game went, yes, that's exactly what we'll do, just as soon as we patch in the ending in some hypothetical future update. And then it just stops after you kill Brainiac once, with nothing resolved and a few billboards reminding you to check back in for next season's content. It's like getting buggered senseless for 10 hours and then being told that if you come back next week for more buggery then maybe you'll earn a cork with which to stem your anal hemorrhage. Suicide Squad, kill me and end my disease of a life 
you remorseless bastards, fails on every imaginable level. My most charitable reading of it is that Rocksteady are attempting weaponized incompetence. Whoops, the looter shooter you forced us to make sucks balls. Oh well, guess it's back to the world-class groundbreaking single-player games with us. But it's those you've just shat all over, Rocksteady. There's no sucking that back into your bum hole. Believe me, I've tried. That's why they banned me from the soft play area. <laughs> This video is sponsored by Incognate. If you're anything like me, you like to support local business, and I didn't think there'd be any harm for signing up for the rewards card at the butt plug warehouse. I mean, free pineapple flavoured lube for every 10 purchases isn't to be sniffed at. But before long, I started getting all kinds of spam mail from businesses only tangentially related to anal violation. Data harvesters worldwide are aggregating everything on you from your phone number to your preferred series of The Simpsons, and while they're technically supposed to stop if you ask, who the hell's got time to write an angry letter to every single one of the buggers? That's what Incognite's for. It sets the frighteners on data harvesters on your behalf until they forget all about you, like a diametric opposite of a PR phone. Firm. After a simple setup, all I had to do was sit back and watch from the dashboard as Incogni sent the requests out to the thieving bastards. Within a matter of days, my inbox and phone were cleared of all but the desired butthole related correspondence. Use code SECONDWIND at incogni.com SECONDWIND to get 60% off an annual Incogni plan, and you too can browse with renewed confidence even online services that do not involve bottoms. Again, that's incogni.com SECONDWIND.